Hey, I'm Nandi from Elizabeth Homeland, and I just released Ground Control 1.2. If you don't know what it is, it's a Max for Live device that integrates the Universal Audio Console application directly into Ableton Live. So you can control your Apollo interfaces from the audio tracks in Live. First, I'm going to show you some things you can do with it, and then the new features from 1.2. When you put a Ground Control channel device into an audio track, it's going to connect to the console application and gonna show you all your available Apollo interfaces that you have and you can select the input channel you want to control right now it's controlling the first channel so the base one if you change anything from the device it's gonna show up on the console too and this communication works in both ways so if I have changed anything from the console application or from the Apollo unit it's gonna show up on the device too you can also select plugins, load them into the channel, change their order, and you can even automate most of the things that you can find on the console. Let's just show you quickly. Also, if you want to control plugin parameters directly from the device, you can assign any parameter from the plugin into eight quick control slots. You just have to select the plugin and the parameter you want to control, and then you can control it from the device, automate it, or access it from push, or map it to a MIDI controller. There's actually a lot more things you can do with Grand Control. For example, you can have different configurations for the same channel. And if you switch between the tracks in live, it's going to recall everything. I plan to create a whole video series where I show you everything you can do with Grand Control. So keep an eye out for this one. And let's now jump into what's new in 1.2. The master device got a major overhaul. Now you can access the monitoring section directly from the device. Things like the main monitoring volume, the mono and mu switches, dimming, monitoring source, and the talkback microphone. This section is available in two modes. One is safe and the other is remote. If you're in remote mode, you can map these parameters to a MIDI controller and control it from here or you can access them from push but in remote mode everything you do in the device gonna get into lives undo history so be careful with it the good thing is that uh, you can switch between safe and remote mode uh, anytime you want so if I switch back to safe mode and start to press the undo button you can see that nothing changed and if I switch back to remote I can control it again from my MIDI controller. These parameters are not saved into your live set. So whenever you reopen a project, they're going to pick up the current values from the console applications. So you don't have to worry about blowing out your speakers. And it's going to always default to the safe mode until you manually change it. Another thing that's new is the console options section. If you enable it, you can access some parameters that you would normally tweak from the console applications settings panel. And you can have these settings be set up on a pair live set basis. So if you reopen a live set and you enable this option, it's going to record the sampling rate, the clip hold, peak hold time, the metering mode if it's pre or post meter your delay compensation value and the headroom and you can choose between these two modes so you can either control it on the pair live set basis or you can disable this section completely and keep them controlled by the console application in the channel device i updated the notes and pictures page and now it has a button that you can use to open it in a floating window and you can resize this window to anything you want. And this button is also keyboard and MIDI mappable, and you can even automate it. 
so it's gonna only show up on the parts of your song where you want it to see and another thing that changed is that you can now change the font of this text box the text size the text color and the background color so you can customize it to the way you want and this notes and pictures section is now available as a separate device separate device sorry and this note and picture section is now available as a separate device and this notes and and this notes and picture section is now available as a separate device so you can use it on tracks where you don't plan to use the ground control channel device instance the channel device also has some new quality of life improvements so now you can disable these two options and what it will do if you select another channel from the device for example this guitar one it's gonna pick up all the parameter values and plugins into the device so I just select it and it's applied every setting from the uh, console application into the device and if I select the first one again it's gonna pick up the values from the first channel and apply it to the device if these two options are enabled then it's gonna apply the settings into the console application from the device it can come in handy if you already created some session templates in the console app and you want to import the channel configurations into the device without setting up everything from scratch another thing that changed is the channel selector menu now it only shows the channels that are actually enabled in the console applications IO matrix so it's a lot clearer experience and you don't have to deal with the channels you wouldn't use I hope you like these new features and have fun with Grand Control. Cheers.